Put, put, putting his pride on the line, put, putting it all out there. A, a, a lot of a lot of tos wouldn't have wouldn't have bothered. They simply would have sent someone else to to go do that do that for them. Jude not impressed, but you know. <laughs> Jude's you saying, can't please everyone. No, Jude, if Jude was up there, definitely would have been a lot closer. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Get, get, get Wills to run this stream. <laughs> uh, oh. Ooh, harsh words. Har harsh words for Frey, which I will not repeat. Goodness gracious. I don't, I don't think I should take that. Slander on my horde gamers. Disgraceful. Goodness me. Scores looking on in disbelief. <laughs> he missed an open goal, you could say. Ah, certainly wasn't an open goal. Certainly wasn't easy. Like I mentioned, even before going into this set, the Scottish are the sleeping picks to win this whole thing. Like, no EMS for London. French team heavily nerfed due to train problems. No Sweden. Honestly, I, I, I think this could be Scotland's day. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I do not know which team we're going to be having on next, but I'm sure it'll be a blast. I'm excited. You're, you're right to just hold down the mic as I, as I fix my... <laughs> no problem. Hmm. Is London still playing over there with? Hey, that's who? Okay. So London. For those uh, uh, not in the know, we had uh, the 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 pleasure of uh, the presence of uh, one Juan de Bidma the hungriest of boxes uh, in the building earlier today. He was uh, in bracket against First Bones. And first Bones showed him a teeny weeny bit of disrespect, shall we say. Oh, oh, it, it, oh it was hilarious. Um, it was like game three. H -bo like First Bones went like Mewtwo game one and kind of got rinsed. Uh, one game two with the Palu. Palu path game three. H-Box is just going for like random rest. He's a bit dejected. And you know, he missed a rest. And first bones tries to go for a shield break setup and messes it up. Ah, I see. And Hbox just gives him a look. The gal like running the stream crops it down to just the player cam, <laughs> just of Hbox. And uh, Hbox just looking unimpressed. And he took game four and brought it to last hit game five. He was not happy after that. It was, it, it was a valiant performance from Hbox. I will say, shout out to the man. He's he's not an ultimate player, but he he, he came out to. To this event, put uh, put his gaming skills to the test and brought brought like Italy's best to the limit. So you know, don't sleep on Italy. They are on the come up for sure. Able to take out Mr. Debidma in person. But uh, it was a very good set, very competitive set. But uh, as of right now, I believe we are waiting to see which. Two teams will be testing their medal against one another. You got any idea who we're going to have on next? Okay, we're, we're just, uh, yeah, we're getting a little, sending out the telegram. To, uh, if only we had a good view of this and we'll commentate. Tell you what, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Oh. How, how long's the wire? Oh, are you going to? Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, you see? Okay, yeah, I think this is, Ra is that Ramon? I Ramon? see a peach. Oh, is he playing for London? I, yeah, Taking I, I over think for so. EMAS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Ramon subbing in for EMAS. Oh, hang on. Yo, we got gay people in the house? <laughs> Let's go. I'm, I'm trying to be gay. I'm trying to be queer as fuck. Shout out, shout out to Eddie. Sorry for swearing on your stream. I, 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 I swore during my block earlier as well. I'm really sorry to Gala if you're watching this. I'm really, really sorry. I, I'm trying to sort it out. Uh, <laughs> but yes, the... Uh, I might head out to the, to the queer meetup. Could be vibes. Could be vibes. I, to be fair, if we don't have a set on right now, because uh, because I, I I and I missed the the last I missed last invasion because I got COVID right before I was supposed to go, and I missed the the queer group photo that the invasion before that. <laughs> so I might sneak off to it if there's not a set on it right now. Yeah. We could like we could probably we. If I would like sneak off to like the the queer group meetup, could you put this on like a BRB, and then, and then I'll, I'll be I'll be back for the set. I'll I'll try and you know I'll try and snipe a group photo, and then we'll be back. But thank you so much for sticking around. Head join back with us in about like 15, 20 minutes. I don't know. Make sure make sure to keep the tab open. 
uh, follow the channel, follow the main channel as well, twitch.tv forward slash Team Region GG and Team Region GG2, and also twitch.tv East London Smash. That's the party going on up in this part of the screen. Check us all out. Keep uh, yourselves updated. Exclamation mark bracket for all your Region 2022 needs. I've been Galaxy. I've been Fortune. And we will see you all in a little bit. Stick around. Woo.
lovely places. Uh, welcome oh, back, everyone. It's, welcome back, everyone. We're doing more cruise. Um, I'm not going to lie. We've been drafted in late to uh, to bring the exciting game of uh, or match of France Denmark. I've not been following the crew battle. I don't know if this is what round this is. This I'm is look it up on my phone while they, they both won their first round. France over Ireland. I don't know who Denmark won over. And the players we'll be seeing first, I believe, are IB and Osk. I think that might be Osk. Oh, yeah, I know IB, yeah. Cloud, been around and done the business. Yeah, he's come to the UK a lot, actually, which is a player that we have quite a bit of evidence of on the skill level, and it is good. He yeah. has performed very admirably every single time he's come here. I'm trying to think of which um, UK tournament. I think he came to Boss Battles. He was at Boss Battles, he was at GBC. Yeah. Meanwhile, Osk, I think we saw Osk, at least I saw Osk at uh, Tea Party. I think he was yes. playing Zelda back then. But yeah, he was playing Zelda back then. He's upgraded to a, a better character. Definitely a better character. I don't think anyone would disagree with you. <laughs> so with the um, with the lineups of the crew battle, I know France is like, considered a really strong region generally. Who is their three? So we got I'm IB. I'm not sure, because originally I would have thought it was like Nithox, Neroz, Momo, but um, yeah, we all three of those heat. players are missing. So true. I think it might be something like Ryukai, IB, uh, maybe hover, maybe yeah, hover, yeah, maybe yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull up the bracket, so yeah, you can probably jump out the team. Uh, in the meantime, in this match itself, I think was doing an excellent job of holding the advantage against um, us. Current, it. Yeah, we're not seeing stocks at the bottom screen. Um, oh, in terms okay. of this matchup, having played it a fair bit. Uh, for the most part, Mithra dominates neutral, she can outplay her Cloud very consistently. However, when it comes to these edge guarding situations to their advantage, Cloud is actually incredibly good at pushing it and like abusing Mithra's poor disadvantage, off stage at least. Yeah. And probably Scott's dropping for Yeah, I agree. When I just watch um, Mithra just try and hold forward and press button to neutral, Cloud can try and retreat with back air, but you just run out of stage he really just quickly. He doesn't have the, the speed either to compete with this with the absolute, like, veracity of this return whenever she's pressing that you. Currently, though, Ox seems to be comfortable with, like, sitting on Pyra. Gets in there, doesn't quite come off the top. IB currently has limit and uses it very well. With a little play being stage. Trying to cover... He kind of had the roll covered there, just up to swing. I think it for a dash attack there, but that's also good. Just, just trying to the cheese. Up. Oh, what the hell? Very aggressive option. You know what? I respect it, you know, it's just... Sometimes you try and put into the world where it's there, and sometimes it works out. Most of the time it doesn't. We've seen Osk staying with the Mithra, not Mithra, sorry, Pyra. I think they want this kill. Yeah, this is like the crux of like a lot of matches with Pyra Mithra, where is the position player willing to switch back to Mithra and start winning neutral a bit more and to step in advantage of the stage, or do they want to kill that badly that they're just going to stay on this character? Yeah, I feel like Osk doing this means that he basically just wants a raw hit. He doesn't, he doesn't want to like win neutral, set up an advantage no, situation just, and then yeah. swing. He's, he's like, like I think a lot of these situations are just swinging at him. But look at that, he's taking 106 in the meantime. This is not a good situation for Denmark or Osk right now. So he does finally get that back here. Mr. can put on a lot of percent here. It's a matter of does she die first. And here oh. comes, we nearly saw a bit of the Mithra blender, but yeah. I'd be sort of swinging for the fences there. I think he's also a player that really likes to get that full of any war hit he can get. But it's not really working out for him. Oh, I think he's, he's just spending double jump. Oh, wow. Oh, he tries to challenge the neutral legs down stage. And he's wow. died for it. Osk popping <laughs> off. <laughs> Big moment. Clearly wants to impress his boys from home. Yeah, I feel like in the crew battle, it's all about regional pride. It's all yeah. about hype. It's all about France being the favorite, Denmark I mean, being yeah, the underdogs. Functionally, these are the underdogs. Whenever we're in Europe, France will be the favorite. Unless the next goes out for for example. Yeah. That is a nice backer. Yeah. That was yeah. an incredibly nice backup, really. I just think, yeah, you almost like, have to pay the Mithra attacks in this match. Like, I'm going to yeah. take 30%. You are going to take 30, maybe 40, maybe 50, and you will be putting this advantage. But if you can get out of that, and if you can start your own advantage, you could get a lot of damage from it. What I think IB needs to do is to watch out for his resources. As Cloud, you can't be sending that jump early, but he is. Good. Here is what Austin's trying to do with the neutral B on the, the ledge, just trying to catch the, the big hitbox for Fards Up B. But yeah. I feel like, yeah, Austin's going for a few Hail Marys right now, and, yeah. and, and Ivy's just swinging. It's a very it. repressive ledge. Oh, oh yeah, what dead. a footstool from Ivy and raising awareness. A lot of Pithras like to jump in that situation for Red Trump to get the height on the up but Ivy, very wary of that, takes him out of the game, takes him out of the crew battle, and now yep. France is sitting free at 76. Pretty good uh, start for. 
Pretty really good start actually for Denmark. Taking two stocks, you know, I think. Oh, for sure. I think in crew battles, usually if you're going to put your anchor player as like the best player into the end, you just kind of want to keep it competitive. And I feel like that's what Denmark needs to do for now. I think we've got, I don't recognize, I know, I recognize the person. I don't know their tag. I think they play Steve. I might be wrong. Oh, if they might play Steve, this might be, is it Big Chungus? No, Sorry, I think it's not. Big Chungus. No, Big Chungus will play. Uh, <laughs> I lift? Maybe? Maybe? What's his tag? Yeah. Hello, Uma. Huh? Do you know what? Do you know what these guys? Hope. Oh, oh, it's Hope. Oh, hello, Uma. <laughs> What's good? What's going on? Who he got versus uh, our Denmark, France? What's your favorite country? Germany. 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 That wasn't an option. I don't know if any Germans are here actually. Do you think he passed geography? I, no, I don't. <laughs> no, to be honest. Definitely didn't. No. Sorry for asking stupid questions. Uh, so this is actually Hope, the hero player. Oh, right, okay. Uh, right. Currently in the loser side of Pro Bracket, I believe today after he took a loss to Ruben. From yeah, that was quite North big, West. actually. That yeah, was yeah, huge. Yeah. Ruben went on an insane run today. Yeah, but I think uh, people were side betting on the set that was happening afterwards. I think Hope was scheduled to play. Yeah, uh, I think it was Dawn or Snow Globes. Globes. Yeah, Dawn, but, but didn't even get that far. Yeah. Um, Still, yeah, this is a very and yeah, Ruben <laughs> didn't side that. Still, this is a very accomplished player. He boasts wins such as wins over SBF. Yeah, and Valhalla. Yeah, and Valhalla. Right before COVID, uh, he was meant to show up to T by, I believe, but couldn't make it. In the yeah, end. I remember that. Yeah, I think is it three v three? I think we're doing for these crew battles. Yes, so. three v three. So right, nine, okay. nine stocks total. Right. And Hero definitely has that sort of unpredictable explosiveness factor that could yeah. really make a mark and make a dent in something like a crew battle where it's just like you need that one stock taken off the player without much hassle. Kaboom, thirty percent. Flame slash twenty percent. F smash crit dead. Yeah, I feel like if you are. In a pinch, if you're down big in the crew battle, you go hero and you just say, you know, you spin the wheel, and then whatever happens happens. I mean, they're not—they're not a huge deficit right now, Denmark. So, no, no, yeah, no. I've not—I've not actually got to see much of um, Hope's uh, hero play before, so I'm excited to see some hero gameplay. This is maybe spin the, first the lottery one. wheel. But yeah. Spin the wheel. But yeah, I think um, maybe some good offstage situations. Um, I think I'm trying to think of what spells Hero might have to cheese Cloud with the uh, the it. yeah, just the massive hit well, spell in general. Spells. Um, obviously, flame fast, flame six kills. Yeah, make sure if you got psych up, ridiculous move as well. He's got such a plethora of options, man. It's really hard to say. He could go for like the, the charge up he give, but you have to tech it. Oh so yeah, it's kind of like an execute. It's like a skill check, isn't it? There's like a there. million things this character can do, man. Yeah. We don't see actually that much like high level Hero. Um, no, but we did see um, Trash beat Dimitri earlier. I did. I saw that on the bracket. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Yeah, Trash is a really strong player. But yeah, we've got um, IP who's going to be sitting on Three, two, one stop. One stop. And Hope just needs to clean this up to keep things even with the game. Hope, I believe, a much higher seed than IB in this tournament. But uh, that doesn't mean much in regards to regen results currently. It seems that everyone from 1 to 100 has been able to trade sets with each other. It's that lovely so blender we all know and love. Yeah. So they're getting right into it again, as we said. 31% uh, already backed on so quickly. And yeah, I like this. He's just playing patient, getting his buffs up. He's just getting his stuff on live. Okay, he's fast. He's fast. He's, he's, he's fast. He can jump. He's basically just short. He's, he's got a blend of jump heart and smash out right now. This is a terrifying character. I think you need a certain personality and energy to play a hero. Just like that, that raw F smash. Yeah. Accelerator is going out. He's only got psych up, but psych up lasts a very long time until he eventually hits out with the F tilt. But I think he's done a pretty good job at mitigating the short advantage that Hope had. And he's trying to pull back his brain from the Nice hat to the side B. Yeah, I feel like Hope, when he gets his sort of uh, initial hits and advantage, he won't push it unless he has to. No. He'll usually just charge spells. And he, yeah, that stuff is cleaned up. Charge just a little bit. As we said, Hero is the perfect character. You just want to pick up that last stock without bringing yourself too much risk. And that's why he goes bringing back down 6 6. Denmark looking nice now. Little bit of a sleepy time there for Hope. I think, um, yeah, I'm just, I I'm always just very on edge just watching Hero play. Because you don't know if it's just going to be a disaster. I'm pretty sure someone told me that I think when Ruben played Hope, um, Hope Kamikaze stock of one of the games. Um, that's so which, unsurprising. And I don't know, I can't quite work out, is the optimal hero like the one that's like picking up the spell? Because I don't know about you, but picking those spells so quickly feels so difficult. At least yeah. for me, uh, maybe it, not as a hero mate. Yeah, or, or do you just press down B and then mash A? Like, the what, is, what, what is the way? It's a very well-read hero, unfortunately, and which doesn't really work when traveling abroad. The set you're going to Japan as an English player and you're playing hero, I'm like, how, yeah, I don't even, Nia Tono went to an Australian tournament, played all hero and somehow, <laughs> 
He won it. An Australian tournament. An Australian tournament. He was right. at that platinum event. But yeah, I think credit to the English reading skills then, I guess. Yeah, I mean, a lot of hero players, I think, when they're at that professional level, like, yeah, I could do some Duolingo, take a little bit of time out of my day, learn literally. the start of each spell oh my so I can use it to the best of my ability. That's madness that before you, you okay, I'm planning, planning for my pool, now I just need to literally look up the dictionary. <laughs> what is Hocus Pocus in, in German or something like? <laughs> Especially if you go into like um, Asian countries where it's like a different app. Yeah. It's like, I don't know how you do it. But. Oh. Yeah, anyway, I think we, I recognize we've got uh, Trim coming up, the Mega Man slash Joker. I think I've only seen Joker today. Yeah, I've only seen Joker. I well. wonder who we have as the preference against um, Joker. Joker. Yeah, I feel I like think we've seen more Joker. Trim's been opting for Joker yeah. a lot more as of late. Perhaps falling out of love with Mega Man. I've definitely seen a blend. But the more he plays as Joker, the more he practices it, I think the more confident it's getting. Yeah. And I think he I think just he wants that. Pain. I think he wants that top three character to just excel at the top level. JJ, we're on the wrong screen. Looking over here. I hope you can hear some noises here. Okay, they're, they're uh... Oh, there we go. Okay, we're off. Uh, and again, while we haven't been looking, past the stream, Hope has again accrued a good amount of percent onto his opponent, onto the trim. 59 racks up currently, basically 60. Set that that bounce, there's no zoning allowed right now. He seems to be very comfortable to sit there with his heels and just wrap on as much as possible before going for that killing blow. Yeah, I think so far, Trim sort of, uh, only Nickel and Diamond just sort of trying to close the, I think Smash Bros makes sense just because yeah. you don't want to give any space. So oh yeah, back he, and wants just to he wants to rush down Hero. Joke is a player that like, you like, usually like to take a risk early. But with Hero, you really want to just suffocate his options because you have a superior frame data. And Hope's just not giving him that option to right now, though. Yeah, I think um, that r has not really been on online that much because Hope's just been getting damaged to uh, take all of the juice Lovely. out of him. Uh, and right now, he's been fishing, he's going to fish out that grab. All that F from the front row will be killing the cycle, but he doesn't need it, Moe. He doesn't need it as he's taking that stock so cleanly, only 64% on him. Just zoomed randomly. I don't know why he zoomed. But it was just about the invisibility. Oh, I see. You know what? Big brave. Huge brave. That's the thing about heroes. They just some of the shenanigans they have. They got so many different variables with different moves. Some nice gun percent comes from right now. Trying to take as little percent as possible to just get the firm on deck. Yeah, he was trying to fish for the uh, up air into the up smash on the platform, but didn't quite get the uh, the landing hitbox he needed. Comes uh, from a really good job right now, keeping in the air and just juggling. Opting for bounce. Um, not going to do yeah. too much. Maybe once the. Uh, the arson powered up side B comes online. Another zoom. He's zooming. As you get a 50% chance higher off stage, I think, when you're at zoom, when you're close to the last turn. So fishing that is honestly just a much more like efficient option than just trying to get back onto stage fairly. When you can just like, skip that whole disadvantage stage. Yeah, find the back there. That whole stock pretty much uh, was just sort of desperately dancing around. The yeah. pressure of being put on the trim was crazy. And so much damage on that side B. It's actually, it's actually crazy. 26% out of our set here is gone already. And Hope is so poised right now. He's got that cycle. Confirm. Ooh, not, quite. not quite. Oh, the tech. Oh, we Fantastic. said before. Yeah. It was the skill check. And uh, yeah, Trim didn't quite pass up. Sometimes you're just not ready to tech that. And Trim wasn't. And right now, Hope is looking like the hope for Denmark. He has really brought this back all the way to him. I feel like just the, the damage output of a hero is so strong, and I think Trim's just been hit by one too many shenanigans, let's say. It would be at the side B, uh, be it just the powered up uh, normals. Yeah. Again, so much damage. Arsene's already here. He has to fair. He doesn't quite get anything further, but he's still at ledge. He's still getting pressured off this moment. He looks so strangled right now. Yeah, he's got a little bit of Arsene juice left. Yeah, hope. Strong air dodge there. Oh, he read, I think he read the air dodge there. He could have got to the down air there and just finished him off, but he doesn't seem to need it. Flame smash. Excellent bait for the shield. Oh, yeah, again. Try it. Oh, oh my and he goodness. gets a down air off that up B. What a confirm from Hope. Taking full stop straight. Hope yeah. using one. Hope's on a tear. He is on a tear. This is an efficient player right that, now. That's a two stock lead there for Denmark. We're saying who weren't the favorites going into this. Yeah. I mean,. So France, who were looking so nice after that first initial interaction between Oscar and Ivia right now, sit, sat there terrified, one might say. They are sat there terrified, yeah. Because Denmark are on fire. Denmark are on fire. Yeah, we'll see. I guess, look, sometimes I know France is sort of a pulled together a slightly second string team here um, with yeah. the absence of Netox and uh, Momo and Omar and Niroz and everyone yeah. who decided to leave last minute. 
Um, yeah. But this, I mean, they've still got. That's the thing about the thing about France. I think that is that everyone knows they're, they're a strong region because of like the top players. They've obviously got Gluto. They've got people in the waiting in the wings like Flo, yeah. like OG, and that sort of thing. But the thing that France has that I think other E regions, you know, don't have necessarily is this. There's such a depth of the quality of player. Like there's some regions like where they might have like one or two like amazing, like the top five is really strong, but then there's like a big like sort of drop off after that. France, there's just talent all the way down. So yeah, still would expect good things for the rest of the crew. I'm not gonna lie, I thought when you said France was one thing other regions don't have the same money. Which comes about to the same point you made anyway. They get way more frequent practice because they got more tournaments, more money to spend. Yeah, the e to the esports scene there I think in, in yeah, France, more particularly for, for Smash is uh, it's really strong. But I think the last player we're gonna be seeing from the French team is Ryukai, who is another actual thing. Oh yeah. After yeah. UK was at DVC was at Bass Bowls. Seemingly loving his time here and has performed really well while he has been here. I thought uh, I think I looked at a feature stat thing randomly because I was deciding I was deciding on my fantasy team that was it. Right. I was thinking about I think I put Ryukai in because I think he went to double down and beat the fatality. Fatality and Chase, he trioed both of them. That's crazy. Down. That's absolutely insane. You know I think the uh, the EU and the uh, are so close now in terms of the town honestly. The EU are really close to the game. It's really lovely to see. I thought we might see the wolf from Ryukai again. I'm not quite sure uh, um, the French scene enough to know if that's a uh, main or I would hazard a guess that this matchup you might feel more confident because at what you want most against Hero is really good frame data and obviously Fox has that. Yeah, he's just smoke. so oppressive. Yeah, I feel like the, the Wolf strategy of maybe like sitting back and shooting laser yeah. is not quite as effective against uh, oh. Hero. You just want to get into Hero's face and press. When Watch Hero is like swinging out that frame 60 back or something, Fox's frame three there is going to be catching out, him out a lot. But right now, Fox is doing his best to keep even despite the matchup. He has really played this so safely and it's just improved so much damage between the mix of spells with the down beat and just the normal spells with the fireball and side beat. It's really, really refreshing to see Hero played so well and just so much. But Ryukai has something to say about that. Yeah, that grab, I think, just there's a slight. The thing about Fox is that because you get smothered so hard, oh my god. He's a 97 after one But that yeah, move hits so hard. You get smothered so hard that sometimes you just like you, you're fidgety. You're just like you're you're very you know agitated. You yeah. can just randomly shield grab in the wrong direction because you're in the you're in the pressure. He is probably the character alongside with Cassie that will cause panic options, like put bad panic options the most in this game. Because he's just he puts on it so much. He's fishing nice. for yeah. a spot dodge there, big really time. Really good health shield from Ryukai though. He's looking incredibly confident right now. Right, he's 44%, maybe more if he can get out of this into situation. Up here retreating, trying to see what the spell lottery brings. That should be up there, if I get anything on the bit. Yeah. I think I see open straight away. I think if Hope can keep this relatively even, you know, maybe take a stock or two, then still a chance here for Denmark to take it over the uh, French boys. Hope taking time here. Yeah. So that in particular really need this stock right now. I feel like do not want to be head to head. Three stocks to three with you, Kai. And while oh. Fox is very light and Hero has an abundance of kill options, Hope just can't find anything right now. Yeah, I think Ryukai is trying to get in mid-range and then he's not committing yet. Yeah. He's not like holding forward until he feels like he's ready to do so. The nice thing about an aggressive character is that they have this tempo, these beats, where they can slow down that aggression and wait for the opponent to start getting scared oh! and pull out an option. Yeah. Like that jump from Ledford gets stuffed out Did you by see the Hope's down face? smash. Hope's face, even he was shocked about that. Like, what that the was hell was that? Mission reaction. complete. But yeah, that was, um, I think, did it? Hope take wow. a stock? Or no, like no, that's three to three. Three now. to three, yeah, you're right. Wow, this, this is swings and roundabouts in this set right now. First, we thought IB had a nice, confident lead, but then Hope brought it all the way back, and now Ryukai has tied it up again to bring it three to three. Last stock, last man against Denmark. So who who will be putting out, excuse me, who is this? Damn. Uma. Uma, you're a knowledgeable man. Who's this? This is the third and final day, but we don't have, we unfortunately don't have the Tyson for the We don't know the Denmark for I am ignorant about the scene. Ash Ketchum. Hang on, hang on, I'm doing research right We want it to be the very best. This is probably Heretta, the American back to Denmark. Oh, Heretta. Heretta's my girl. Heretta's been in the side bet circle. You know, just, uh, Farming people's money. <laughs> that that <laughs> iconic um, Lucretia one in a thousand clip, I'm pretty sure that's her. I think we can call this person a dangerous individual in every sense of the word. Not only in his gameplay and ultimate, but also his out of gameplay tendencies. 
I mean, there's just fe there's a fearlessness about the way he, at least the way he approaches um, the, the the side bet. So we'll see if that translates it's into really the way he plays the game. It's really good to have that fearlessness, especially against a character like Fox, who, if you respect too much, if you start getting too scared, you're going to start getting abused really hard. So Hereta's probably more fearless style will probably lead to a more confident disadvantage state, and maybe a confident advantage state as well, as Fox has died so easy in this matchup. This is a huge cross Is this um, Rob? Fox Rob. Should yeah, be, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. That, that is a very sweet This is such, like... It's a, in, if you think about it, because it's the last um, three stops to beat, it's basically just a best of one. Yeah. And best of ones can be very swinging. So, yeah. These characters destroy each other in disadvantage. They kill each other so easy. I feel like if you're Ryukai, this is like your, your training dummy is pretty much usually Rob. If, you're, if you want to like lab some of the ridiculous combos that Fox has, Rob is the next one to do it. As a top tier and heavyweight and big body. Meanwhile, yeah, Rob, we're going to see the zoning, but also the thing that makes Rob so ridiculous is that like he's one of the best boxing characters in the game. That down tilt is elite. This character's boxing options, along with Gyro and Laser, are absolutely insane. It's in a the way we're designing it. But we're seeing, yeah, at all. We're we're seeing, we're we're seeing, we're going to see the, uh, the Ryukai difficult advantage. The uh, Hereta disadvantage, meaning like once either of these characters get going, it's scary. So it's who hits first, basically. As the famous unfunny joke goes, Rob is big, so he will take everything. He, he is big! A, he will take a lot of percent off each hit. When he does get to that kill percent, if he can't find the mark, then he might rob you a lot earlier than you can kill him. So we're seeing here, I think, I don't, Fox struggling to kill isn't too much of a thing, but you still have access to the uh, first yeah. of a, a weak aerial. But yeah, just a roar up there. Love you capture the roar up there. Will be enough, yeah. Not looking great so far but for uh, for the day. Uh, I'm aware Hereta is a very technical Rob, so that could lead to like inane gyro combos and the Rob is the opponent's not too bright, but when Fox is already at 74 and he's so light, it's hard to combo him. And right now, Ryu has to get an excellent job of winning away with this. We were saying last game about how Fox is one of those characters that makes you scramble because of the speed and just the pressure he puts on. I feel like we saw that in the game with Hope, and I think we're seeing it a little bit with Hereta so far, like a few sort of slightly rogue American air dodges, like just some just a little bit of scrambling. Like Fox, oh. is, Fox makes you scramble! Fantastic! Has to be This is quite kill! The guy yeah. his mark, and so does the down oh, Wow! But another third kill up to find him by them. They got there in the end. Yeah, and then of course, Retta doing the classic. It's the end result of that marriage. Hovering in the sky. Yeah, Retta actually back now. We saw the, yeah. Ryu, it was the Ryu, uh, Ryukai show for a while, but... Uh, slowing it down a bit. Retta trying to turn on American Rob right now. Uh, Blacks on the damage. And the back to 77. This is a huge turnaround, about Mike. As we said, this is such a tension in the matchup. Yeah. Back and forth. The Ryukai right now is the one that's in favor of racking onto 113%. When Fox and Firm starting to hit and kill, can Hereta find any sort of mark before it's too late? Oh, gets the what? empty land. Oh, he's like a shark in the water. The amount of times that Ryuka has used the jump to put against somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back on the net. Ryuka is really good at finding and punishing his match drops. I presume this is single elimination. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this could be the la the Dane's last stand. This, it could be the end of Denmark as we know it. <laughs> the end of Denmark as we know it. The <laughs> whole country is They finished. can't find anything right now in these trying times. Can't get anything on the down, on the down tilt. And it's desperate to use the defense of this kill options. But Ryuka is having none of it. Yeah, Ryuka is like uh, swinging and pressing some buttons right now, but Hereta really just yeah, can't keep him off it. Hereta the back there. And just keeps him away from that gyro. Oh, he has to oh, have to. Yeah, the gyro works. He's getting these gyro hits. Maybe down throw, he's going up air. Yeah. yeah. Really good job. Great oh, DI. What DI? Uh, oh, la la, the French DI. Oh, oh, oh la la, the French DI. All right, so this is the classic Rob with gyro in hand. Oh no! As oh percent. no! Is he Luke Crescio? Oh, or is he Snow Globes? <laughs> He's alive for now. Gyro's out of hand. Neutral get up. He has the gyro in hand now. This is Rob's best option. Whoa, what a dead catch from the ledge. Trying to oh, bring wow. back his prime option. This is scary right now because it's terrifying. Because Ryukai's out of um, kill confirms pretty much, I think. At least maybe Rob being slightly bigger, but it's going to be raw hits. Oh, oh but he gets the tech man chase. Attack with France barely taking over Denmark a lot closer than I think the is going to be. But they're going to take a home in the end. Ryukai, five stocks to his name, I believe. 
Yeah, I think it was the Ryukai dip there yeah, in the end. The um, MVP of this one. I think he only ended up losing two stocks and he yeah. took five? I believe both Hope and Ryukai took five stocks in the end. So, pretty impressive. Yeah. Very outstanding performances for players, but what matters in the crew about is how the team performs in the end. And yeah. it's France that performed that slight bit better. It's as we say, impressive for France, losing a lot of their heavy hitters and still they still are, beating Denmark with players said, like Hope. They're a region with a huge depth. 